Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls are doing? We have uh, this cell function to finish. Now I might have screamed, my OBS was saying I was screaming, uh, but I'll, I'll stay back. I don't know, I don't want to blow your ears off, but if I did, I'm sorry. But let's just do this uh, see out thing, so, oh, the cell thing. So we did a see out on the inventory, inventory, and then true was for a if it's in shop or not. So it is in shop, that means we'll print out the cell value. And how are we gonna do this? Well we're gonna give the player a choice. We're gonna do the cell value and we're gonna just copy all of this except for that that whole thing here, but who cares? We'll remove that later. So we'll just do this. We'll copy paste that in here. We'll remove this right now. We'll tell you how much gold the character's ha character has, and um, yeah, and then every time we do the option, it's gonna tell you how much gold he has. All right, so that's good. Gold choice of item, and then I'm gonna sell. Okay, character. dot get in inventory size I'm sure I did make one of those so that's good or if it's less than zero it's a fail and then we're gonna do that and then as choice is finished what I'm gonna do is let's see hmm All right. So let's do an if statement. If the if character dot get inventory size is less or equal to zero, or is greater than zero, then we can do all this stuff. Cell menu. So I'm just gonna do this that and if it is else then we'll tell the user that the see out the inventory empty empty all right we'll just do that boom and then a new line just like that boom and then we'll leave the shop. So that's good. Uh, that's nice. All right. Sin choice. Good. Um, else, let's do this. Uh, Character dot get gain gold character dot get in inventory uh, let's see get item remove I don't have remove item I don't have I have add item I don't have remove item so I'm gonna do remove item let's go to our character and let's see where is equip item I have add item I don't have remove item so void remove item const in index like that and then we need some error checks in here so let's go to our character Go down to reset. Go down to equip item. Void character remove item. Now we're gonna have to do some error checks. So our error check is gonna be if this or if index is less than zero, less than zero, or index is greater or equal to this inventory dot size 
then we're gonna see out error error N not possible to remove item remove item character and then a new line new line just as an error message or if it does Mm, else we're gonna just do this we're gonna say this inventory dot remove item at position index so we're gonna remove that item and then we're gonna add gold remove item choice uh, What? Are you serious? Oh wait, I might have done something wrong here. Uh, constant index, constant index, event, gain gold. Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. So this is gonna be after. I'm gonna do that. And then item, see out, item sold. New line out goal earned and then we're just gonna say we're gonna remove it at the bottom just like that new line that new line new line so how are we gonna do this we're gonna we need to make another function in character that says get item what get item index so we can get an item <clears throat> uh, get inventory size all right so get item let's do the exact same setup but we're gonna say get item instead uh, get item character and then we're gonna say item okay item I don't want to have to copy it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make that a const reference const item reference and then we're gonna do this else return this inventory at position index Like that. I'm probably gonna throw then because I have to return a value and if I don't it's gonna be a problem so if this happens then I'm gonna throw with this error and you know what I could do I could see see out that and I could do a after the see out I could do a throw so it's gonna do all that stuff, then it's gonna throw something. So throw error out of bounds get item character. That's our error. Boom. So that's good. Otherwise we, we return the inventory thing at index. And let's go to game. Let's go to events. So now we can get item. Gain gold character dot get item at index dot get cell value. Boom. And choice. There we go. And we're gonna do the same thing. Just like this. Get cell value. So now we'll print out uh, whoops. So we'll print out how much gold we earned, the item sold, we'll gain the gold, and then we'll remove that item from the inventory. And it will take care of itself. And inventory size is greater than zero. So if it's not empty. So now if I do run this, 
we're gonna have a thousand crashes but at least maybe just maybe somehow this will work okay that did work let's travel and now we can buy something buy value price one let's buy ten we bought that let's le let's sell so I have that now what if I sell zero what if I sell that I earned ten okay so sell now I have 121 sell item zero you earn zero alright but it's cool at least the sell thing works so if I wanna sell now inventory empty you left the shop alright buy now I can buy stuff holy crap that's a bunch of stuff why am I printing it out twice though that's the question bro saver bro I'm printing it out several times am I not I have to check this out so uh, gold character so I do print out going to buy print this out once uh, I print out inventory once uh, okay the hell what the hell let me try this one more time so I travel I go in to buy I print out the inventory once uh, zero okay what if I buy again oh okay I, I get it I get it I get it I get it all right all right, all right. because the merchant invent I'm still in the menu and the merchant inventory is created up here up here this is where it's created uh, merchant inventory so every time I hit shop it's gonna do this now what I have to do is I have to clear string here we go in dot clear so every time I run this we'll get another thingy I print out inventory and I say choice alright so let me see let me try this one more time I go into buy and I say I want to buy item zero you can't afford this item and then buy it's not gonna print it out twice good I can buy cotton rag mm, buy alright that's good that's good that's good now I just have to do this now if if I do minus one I will I don't want to continue so it does this is less than minus one uh, so it's gonna give me a choice so I think this is just gonna be for prints out the inventory and then minus one and I'll say sin choice then you know what we'll do we'll do this if we'll have the choice if choice is less equals minus one then we'll cancel this uh, else if okay so c out cancelled new line new line we'll just do a new line so cancelled alright choice choice of item minus one to cancel let's just add that to the whole thing and the same thing to sell so choice of item minus one to cancel add it here uh, minus one get inventory size so choice to cancel to cancel and here if choice equals minus one then 
see out cancelled new line else we'll do this all right cool 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 so that's good so now we have a cancel function let's try this and we're right at the 15 minute mark so it's perfect travel by minus one cancelled you left the shop to sell minus one cancelled you left the shop and then zero oh god that's a lot of enters and stuff so this is just inventory this is when you leave the shop okay so I'm guessing this is where you leave the shop let me just try this uh, one let's do minus one cancelled So enter to continue, you left the shop. Okay, cool. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's nice. All right. Now I just want to fix the travel thing in event. The generate travel. Or the generate thingy. Here we go. Let's just remove this. And then we'll be able to accommodate all this stuff. Now we have a working shop example. Hell yeah. Or shop encounter. Sorry. Hell yes, that's nice. We'll add some more stuff, probably a boss encounter, maybe some other stuff. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I really, I do want to end this thing, but we still have some stuff we can add. So uh, it feels, it feels like we can add a few more videos to the series. But yeah, thanks for watching. Take care. I hope you learned something. Keep learning, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, bye bye.